Welcome to the Tradies in Business podcast with your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Divert your phone and grab a brew as Waz and Nick unpack tips, tales, secrets and stuff-ups from guests both inside and outside your trade, helping educate and inspire you to break the cycle of gut-busting and money stress and create a true trade business. Howdy, Coxie. G'day, Warwick. And hello, listeners. G'day, listeners. Today, we're going to look through the round window. <laughs> I always like the arch window myself. <laughs> Did you have a favourite um, window? No. Huh. But, uh, but I did have, I did have a favourite presenter. Who? But probably only because it was during my time. And <clears throat> you know how you just, you become familiar with certain people and, and you just, um, I don't know, you feel connected to them somehow? Yeah. 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 Who is it? Noni Hazelhurst. Oh, Noni's Hazelhurst. everybody's nana. <laughs> but then there was also, um, and I don't remember her name, there was a chick that was on with Agro. Remember Agro? Oh, I, I do. I, he's very inappropriate, Agro, but yes, I do oh, remember yeah. Agro. He was um, under the desk. Um, what was her name? The blonde chick, the skinny blonde chick. Oh, she was lovely. I forget her name. She was cute. She was cute and she was very happy all the time. <gasps> I've done I had it a boy again. crush on her. I bet you did. Oh, did you just, did, you, did we just have a Chuck Norris segue? We did. Oh my gosh, I've infected you with the Segway virus. You really have. This is so well, much it's fun. It's the new virus. It's the Segway <laughs> virus. <laughs> Go, oh. come on, I want to hear it. I want to hear your segue. Well, we're talking about happy today. Ah. Oh. Anne-Marie. I think her name was Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie, yes. And she was always very happy and upbeat. And I wonder today, what Anne-Marie's doing now. Oh, now Do you think I, she was on substances or something? I don't know. Maybe she, I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that. I'm going to Google her while you keep talking. Okay, I'll keep talking. What should I talk about? Should I talk about happiness? Let's talk about happiness. That's what we wanted to talk about today. Because I don't know about you, but after a day off yesterday, that holy moly I really needed, um, I'm feeling a little happier. And I thought that maybe we could talk about how you and I had points in time last week where we really struggled or found this all to be a bit overwhelming, a little bit too much. And how we work together to find some sense of happiness in each of our days. Does that work for you? Yes. Sorry, I'm looking at photos of Anne Marie from <laughs> Agro's Cartoon Connection. <laughs> Anne Marie got older. They all get older. I saw a photo of Bruce Willis today, 65 or 67 now. That was a shock. I'm just going to hold the image of Anne Marie when I was younger. <laughs> you do that inappropriately, I'm sure. No, 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 no. It's just. Yeah. You know how some people age and they just don't look any different to 20 years prior? Yes. She's not one of those people. That didn't happen for (laughs) Anne-Marie. Poor Anne-Marie. Agro didn't age much. bigger. Yeah, Agro didn't age much. No. I bet bet the guy with his hand up at Agro's butt aged a fair bit. Is he even still alive? I don't know. He used to be on uh, radio up in Noosa. I've got a feeling he's still kicking along pretty happily. Mm, He got in a bit of trouble here and there. Along the way. Mm. Anyway, you probably do that when you're under the table with young women mm. um, on TV. So happiness. So anyway, work. happiness. <laughs> happiness is being under the table with a puppet on your hand. <laughs> What's one thing that you and I have been sharing this week that has made us both very happy? Oh, we've been sharing way too much this week. We I think, haven't Coxie. been, haven't we? <laughs> um, I've been sharing stories of Baxter. Yes. The wonder, the wonder puppy. They have made me laugh quite infectiously because <laughs> he's normally in trouble or good trouble Oh, he's at such least. an idiot. Yeah. He's a he beautiful dog, but he's such an idiot. <laughs> he's an idiot. Uh, uh, what else do we find? Oh, uh, the wheelie bin group on Facebook is a oh very big source of happiness. I've yes, never laughed so hard. That with me the other morning. And uh, I wondered what group you – I thought – is this spam? Like, are you fishing? Have you been hacked or something? Yeah, it's not something. Because it's like, do. it's like, uh, what's it called? Bin isolation outing. Yes. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. So I went and had a look at it, and then I read the about, and I got to find it here because it was it's funny. It's just the about was funny. I can't um, find it either. I'm trying to like. Oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Guys, if anyway, you haven't found matter. it, it's on Facebook. You have to go and find it. Oh, so they, it says here in the description of the group. So basically, the bin goes out more than us. So let's dress up for the occasion. And um, they are. And I, just, 
I just thought that was funny. The bin goes out more than we do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bin outing. But so, the memes yeah, are hilarious. As, as Snow White. And yeah. oh my gosh, here's someone in a, a bathing suit, flippers and a snorkel <laughs> putting the bin out. Of, oh my God. Oh, that's just that's all kinds of wrong. Uh, anywho, <laughs> so that's that's pretty funny. They're um, very funny, and it's um, there's almost five hundred thousand members. Or I think there is five hundred thousand members. Yeah, now. but that's crazy. Well, it's good for oldies and youngies, and everybody's in there. This, that's been a lot of happiness in there. This chick would have to be in Australia, so she's got the bin in a massive. Um, water-filled pothole in the middle of the dirt road and paddling it like a sup <laughs> with the dog sitting on top of it. Oh, that's hilarious. But it's pretty wild because uh, wifey and I are in um, quarantine until tomorrow's. Tomorrow's. So uh, mid- midnight tonight, we're free. Uh, and putting the bin out is technically breaking the law. Mm. So because uh, we're... Well, because we live in a in a country area here in Taswija, um, we've been informed by the lovely neighbours that left a note in our letterbox to let us know that it's best if you pop the bin on the other side of the road because the garbo will only stop in one direction. <laughs> well, you can't uh, extend yourself, you know. Got nothing to do with the band either. <laughs> but uh, so we literally have to like check the street for unmarked police cars and military vehicles that come and do their spot checks on us. Um, so just so we can put the bloody bin out. But anyway, this is not a complaining ranty episode. This is an episode of what's made us laugh. I think we might've dipped in um, there for a minute, but yes, I think it's pretty funny when you got to do covert operations to get your bin out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I have, I have uh, watched wifey from the office, from the office of my window. <laughs> How about from the window of my office? Oh man, I need to go walk around the paddock again. You do, but uh, I, I have <laughs> watched her stand at the gate and do the old check of the road because it's a country road, and so you, you sort of you know you got to watch for cars and tractors, and there's the old logging truck that goes past occasionally. But she's sort of doing the okay. Is it safe to drag the wheelie bin across <laughs> the road? <laughs> so that's been pretty funny. So what else has made you happy? I'll tell you what else has made me happy is. Some of the stories from our members, I can't help myself. I'm going to talk about tradies in business. Well, that was the, well, I think mean, that's the point of the whole podcast. <laughs> is that podcast, why we do this podcast? <laughs> what we do. But it's, it's the Easter weekend, so I think we're getting a bit a bit off track more so than normal, which means mm. we're so far off track that you won't even find us with an EPIRB. Sorry uh, about that. <laughs> I, I can put out the beeps. Beep. <laughs> beep. Does an EPIRB actually beep? Beep. I don't know. <laughs> Beep. I've got one. Do you want to set it off just to see what happens? Can Ooh, we? I wonder what would happen during COVID if I set off my <laughs> PLB in my back paddock. Would they Do come? you have to register with somebody first? Uh, yes. Right. So you would have had to register that you're going for a walk around your own back paddock. Well, you just register your PLB and then when you set it off. Oh, so you can set it off any time and it, yeah, they'll yeah, just yeah. locate you. Yeah. Oh. They, they get pretty pissy if it's not an actual emergency. I know, right. If you did yours, I can imagine the, the choppers coming in and the soldiers rappelling <laughs> down from the choppers to try and find you because you've and broken they, out of isolation. Well, they find me sitting beside the dam in my back padding. It's like, you okay, buddy? What What's happened? It's like, I've run out of cream. <laughs> Can't have coffee without cream. All right. Or coffee, that would have been a better. That would have been a better punchline. That was pretty shitty. Yeah, well, cream anyway, was a bit shit. What's what? Because I really like cream in my coffee. Um, so what's made me happy this week? Cream is, in your coffee. Yes, except that ran out yesterday. Okay. We've run out of cheese. We've run out of cream for the coffee, so we're on to black coffee. Yeah. Um, we're down to our last couple dozen eggs. Oh, you really need and, to get out tomorrow. And and we've been eating. Rump steak for about the last two weeks because that's all we've got in the freezer. <laughs> so you're keen as a bean for what? Some eye Every fillet? Every meal. <laughs> for a different cut. Um, pork? Oh, I want a bit of salami actually. Yum. Do you eat pork? Uh, not often actually. Not often. It's it's not 
it doesn't have the same nutritional profile as as red meat, so we don't eat it. Uh huh. Well, do your good. taste buds not deserve a treat? Oh, actually, I lie. I eat bacon. Yes. But oh my god, bacon, bacon is life. Well, vegetarians and vegans don't eat bacon, of course, no. but. You know, if if you're a an om, omnivore or a carnivore, then generally I I think you'd probably eat bacon. So, bacon, yes, salami. I like a bit of pork salami. Wifey loves a little bit of pork sausage. So, um, what else made me happy is some of the stories from our members this week, and it's always important just to move on, Coxie. That's why um, I left the dead air about. <laughs> about some of the cool stuff that's happening in their businesses and some of the good stories with um, clients responding well to their marketing campaigns and, you know, um, photos that they've shared of husbands actually spending time with their children mm. when they figure it's out which a lot one of was which. Uh, you know, they have to wear name tags sometimes, but <laughs> generally, uh, you know, there's been some cool photos of uh, dads doing stuff with kids during the day, um, one of our tradepreneurs uh, that I did a session with the other day was um, sharing the fact that he actually went for a sail because he's a sailor. He's a crusty old sailor. And uh, he I went for a sail. I don't think he would enjoy you calling him crusty or old. Oh, and the cool thing about it is he can't say anything about it because it's a podcast and you can't come back. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> You're going mad. <laughs> Is Mad Hatter on a Saturday? Do, I don't what? know. Uh, I don't know. I'm a bit lost this morning. <laughs> well, it's a bit abnormal for us to be. It's not the March Hare, Saturday. is it? Mad March Hare? I don't know. I don't, um, I don't even so know. So he went for a sail in the middle of the day. And oh. uh, he said it was, it was epic because there was no one out on the water because it's illegal. And um, he was doing it because it's exercise because that's his form of exercise. Um, and he did a couple of hours training on his, uh, in his little racing sailboat and then he packed it away at the yacht club and he jumped in his van, his branded van, and he went and did a couple of quotes and he said he felt awesome. Wow. Uh, so that was a really cool story. I think there's some great stuff like that coming out of the Rona. I'm sick of hearing the, about the Rona, hey? <laughs> I think we all are. But you know what I'm finding really exciting, again, could almost be a segue, is how we're becoming comfortable with this new form of normal-ish and confidence is coming back. So, yeah, it's weird. It's really weird that I can't see my family tomorrow. It's really weird that, uh, I don't know, all of the tradies can't go camping because most of them go camping or to the beach or something. Mm. Those things are really bizarre. But there's this new sense of acceptance that this is what we're going through and we're in it for a bit of a haul and we're okay. And I'm finding it exciting to hear from lots of our tradies, both members and not, that the confidence is coming back and some of those quotes are being accepted or they've found a new way to talk to their clients so they don't have to expose them potentially to anything and the clients are taking it on board. Like I think no. there's some good news out there. Definitely don't want to expose them to anything. No. that's And if we go again. <laughs> Well, this is this was meant to be a light-hearted episode. It is, as you, opposed you, to all of our other really serious ones. Do we do any serious ones? Very rarely. I mean, usually Not usually when we're interviewing somebody. Yeah, we we'll behave. It's like, and today we have a guest on the podcast, so we will be behaving ourselves. I'm sure the people that listen to us are not here because we behave. No, I don't think they're here for the intellect and uh, and anyway, I don't know what they're here for. What are you here for, listeners? Can you tell us? Why do you like the podcast? Why Please do you listen? Tell us. tell us why you listen and then we can give you more of what you want. Hmm, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, that'd be great. We should do that. We should hmm. find out what people want and give it to them. It's a good Clearly, way to do marketing. Well, maybe they want what we're giving because they keep coming back. Hey, just on that, I'm going to make this about business just for a minute. <clears throat> the, uh, the bin isolation outing group, you know, half a million people. Just have a think about that for a second, listeners. Half a million people in a group sharing little quick videos of them putting out their wheelie bin in fancy dress. Like, who would have thunk it? Hmm. So I, I, when people start getting all stressy about their marketing and what they should do and 
how well they need to do their videos and they procrastinate about it and put it off and they get their copy professionally written and spend hundreds of dollars crafting these messages. Just think about this for a second. 500,000 people in a group sharing videos of putting out their rubbish. Just let that settle in for a second. (laughs) It's pretty (laughs) remarkable, isn't it? (laughs) So, you know, you don't have to do... Like, you know, I don't know what a big company is, Apple products level videos and marketing to market your trade business to people. No, you don't. You really don't. They don't you want to see actually, that anyway. You just got to be real because that's the thing about that group, right? It's real for all of us. Mm. Our bin goes out more than we do. So <laughs> let's have some fun with that and dress up as the Mad Hatter and do a little dance on your front street before you step back inside. Um. You know, do something fun in your trade business and post videos of that. Just post videos of yourself being a twat and mucking around for a twit. Which is worse, twit or a twat? I'd rather be called a twit. I think it depends on which country you come from. Yes. Yeah. Twat's probably not very good. So don't be a twat. Be a twit. Be a twit. Um, be but silly. don't be on Twitter. So, you know, just do something stupid. I uh, Have some post fun. That. Just have some fun. Yeah, have a bit of fun with it. Like, come on. Everyone's stir crazy anyway. Um, people are finding weird stuff funny at the moment. <laughs> they are. And this weekend more than ever, they're looking for something to look at. So make it fun. People are finding me funny at the moment. That's really scary. They're not really. They're just placating. They're just trying you. to make me feel better about myself. I think so. We're all worried mm. about you. Fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow will be different because you will have gotten broken out. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have to do it early because I'm leaving the house. For Yeah, okay. Early or late. One well, or I've, two because I'm out. I've got to be up early for the Easter Bunny. He needs a coffee. Well, well the Easter Bunny died cause <laughs> in our house because we can't actually get out to buy anything. And we've got no kids here anyway because I'm not allowed to see my daughter because I'm in quarantine. So, yeah, it's kind of – ours is going to uh, gravitate back towards the true meaning of Easter Sunday. But anyway – um, that's tomorrow. I'll talk to you in the morning. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> You've been listening to the Tradies and Business podcast with Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Find out more about today's guest, tools for your trade business and other cool stuff at tradiesandbusiness.com.au.